on WSOC tonight, signs of a flatter curve. Great news, but we have a long way to go. We're breaking down how health officials are doubling down on park restrictions and helping you understand why this disease isn't affecting everyone equally. There's a frightening new trend that's popping up in Charlotte and big cities everywhere. Then, no choice but to work. No help if he gets sick. What happens to my job, my family, my income? Our expert explains the best way that essential workers can protect themselves. We're here for you, sorting out all the impacts of coronavirus in the Carolinas. Tonight, as we continue to navigate these difficult times, there are new signs that could offer a bit of hope. With nearly everyone in the country under a stay-at-home order, the CDC is changing its projection on COVID-19 deaths. Last week, the number was 100,000 to 200,000, and now that social distancing is helping, that's been lowered to 50 to 140,000. The flatter curve means North Carolina hospitals could see a peak number of patients in May instead of April. That also changes projections of lives lost here at home. Last week, a University of Washington group predicted 2,500 deaths in North Carolina by August. Today, that number less than 500. South Carolina numbers also dropped from more than 1,000 to less than half that. But there's also a concerning trend nationwide. More African Americans testing positive and dying much more often. A report by the New York Times shed light on this issue right here in Mecklenburg County. That Times article posted tonight tells the story of Mecklenburg County Superior Court Judge Donnie Hoover. He and his wife Josephine both tested positive. The report says that he was receiving chemotherapy for multiple myeloma and she has diabetes underlying medical issues that put them at higher risk of severe illness. We were so scared, Judge Hoover told the Times, and we're still scared because we don't know for sure if we're out of the woods. 